Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help and this is new Java FX video tutorial for you. In this tutorial, we will see how to implement info overlay in Java FX stage. This example is very easy. I will explain you in this video tutorial session. Now you can see the example is running when I am hovering on this image. So that slide is appearing with the information. When I am going out, then slide is sitting down. So this is the very useful control you can use in your projects. Let's get started. First of all, now you can see this is the NetBeans IDE and I have already prepared one example for the demonstration. This is a FXML based project. In this project, we have one FXML file. This is the one controller file and one file which has a start method and a main class. In this example, we are using an image. So we have one sample image. Now we will see the FXML first. So in this FXML, what arrangement I have made? This is very simple arrangement. We have one pan, which is the useful thing. And uh, we have assigned the FX ID. Rest of the pan and labels are for the decoration purpose only. So because we are going to set our info overlay inside this pan, that's why we have used and assigned a FX ID to this one. So we will use this pan inside the controller. Now I will minimize this one. Now going back in the example and first of all, you guys need to download the control FX.jar file and then import in your class path to use the info overlay class. because this class is provided by the control FX API. Now we will see the implementation inside the controller file. So we are right now inside the controller. So we will start from the line number 26 at the FXML annotation. And uh, this is the reference variable for uh, holding the object of pan. So this is the pan in which we will set our info overlay. And guys, this is the uh, info overlay reference variable. And after that, we have created one image object with the help of a image constructor. And we have passed the path of the image, a sample image, which is present in our project. You can see this is the image and the dimension is 600 by 800. Then we have done some coding inside the initialize method. This is very simple and easy coding. We have a, a one image view object and uh, we have created with the help of the image object that we have created at the top of this class file. At line number 30, we have created the instance image and with the help of that, we have uh, initialized the image view because image view is a container which holds the image. After that, we have a image view set fit height and set fit width because of we have to restrict the size as per the pan size. Otherwise, if you will not use the statement 43 and 44, your image view will acquire the size of your image. This is for the restriction of size. This is the custom size of the image that we have defined with these two lines of code. Then one more line we have used to set to preserve the ratio. Otherwise, the image will feel stretched on horizontally or vertically. In the next line, we simply created the string that uh, the string text that we want to display on the on the image inside the overlay then finally we have uh, created the info overlay object and by calling the parameterized constructor and passing the image view and info info is a string and image view once we got this object we simply need to add inside the pan because we have to display inside. So we have called my pan dot get children dot add. After that, we are giving the node. So node is info overlay. We have done with the initialize method. 
Now we will take a clean build of this project and then we will run this. Build successful, now going to run it. Now you guys see this, the stage is appeared and the info overlay is properly displaying inside the pan. Now you can see when I am hovering on the image, so the slide is appearing with the description. When you are hovering outside, then a slide is sitting down. This control is really uh, cool and uh, this is provided by the control FX. I hope you guys uh, found this video useful. Please like this tutorial and appreciate our work. Or you guys please subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.